Justin here and this is Ella my little plumber she's helping me out today and today we're gonna be working on a project to remove phosphorus from my tank and uh, I'm gonna show you what I got so here's my tank and as you can see it's got a little bit of an algae issue uh, the phosphate is a little bit high in here uh, the corals still seem to be doing okay but it just looks nasty and uh, phosphates can inhibit coral growth and uh, it also allows algae to grow so I just want to get rid of this problem um, I think it'll be pretty simple and if you've been following my channel at all you know um, that I set up an auxiliary back here for a self-cleaning sump and uh, this is going to be an opportunity for me to hook up uh, a canister filter and uh, hold on little plumber's not happy she lost her street elbow here you go okay and uh this is just a little filter uh canister cartridge whatever you want to call it i got it off amazon.com i think i paid 14.95 for it and i bought these little uh nipples or adapters if you will uh to go in each end because i'm going to use this braided hose again i really like it it's flexible um and it doesn't restrict your flow it doesn't create as much head as an elbow does um, and I also, when I was checking out on Amazon.com, it recommended that I buy this, uh, I guess it's a flow distributor. It allows the flow to go in and then dissipate outwards and then distribute evenly through. So you don't get any flow channeling through this media. You want to distribute that flow as much as possible. Ah! Hey, yep. And uh, so that's why I bought that because it was recommended by Amazon. So I recommend getting that. I haven't tried it yet, so hopefully it works well. I'm gonna hook it up and we'll see how it goes. I'll check back with you in a moment. All right, so here we are. I've got the filter installed with the FOSS guard in there and it's working very well. I didn't have to increase my uh, return pump, but one notch. Um, I only have it on the second bar right here, but it kind of lights this one up. It's hard to see on the camera, but really it's only on the second notch. So um, I really don't run this thing wide open, never, ever. But since I've got this auxiliary port installed back here, I can adjust it here. I basically got a T right here, and that side over there goes up to my return. And this here goes back to my GFO. Back around, protein skimmer, down and around, into the canister filter or filter housing, whatever you call it. And back out this side, up and around. These hoses are way too long, but I'm gonna install them a little more permanently later. And it dumps right in here. And I actually dropped some PVC cement when I was cementing this piece back here I dropped it right into my fish tank and that's definitely a bad thing to do um, probably got a lot of volatile organic compounds in there so I just got my fish net and dumped a bunch of activated carbon in here so I'm kind of scrubbing the water and I dumped some in the bottom of my refugium by accident but uh yeah there's uh my GFO installed, GFO reactor, I guess you'd call it. And it's important that these uh, grains here are not tumbling, so they're packed in there really tight. Um, you don't want that stuff to be ground up. If that stuff tumbles, it'll grind up and it'll cause problems for you. So that stuff needs to be packed tight and push as much flow through there as you can. So um, yeah, that's everything. Tank is, uh, Still looking pretty nasty from the algae and I need to wipe the sides off and uh, maybe I'll do that and shoot another video because it actually does look good but uh, it just doesn't look like it right now so anyway I appreciate you guys watching all right so I had some issues with head loss through the filter uh, my pump was not pumping any water through it and these little uh, canisters that I bought to go inside of there has got a pre-filter and this is what was stopping up and uh, so I took them out there's one in the bottom and one inside the cap 
Uh, this was actually the one in the cap. Um, it's got a little plastic thing here. You just pop it right out. Um, you got to convince it a little bit. So take it out and uh, this little piece of filter floss that comes with it or uh, whatever it is, I just split it in half and I put one on the bottom and I'm going to put this one back on top because this is going to hold your beads in place. And uh, so say hello to my little Easter bunny. Okay, so that's how I'll fix that. Okay, we're back in business. Really moving some water through there now. As long as you take these little pre-filters out, you'll be in good shape. Really moving some water now. Thank you guys for watching and hopefully you guys found this video useful. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. Take it easy. Fish tanks are fun. Say it. Fish tanks are fun. Fish tanks are fun.